believe is not the story of my personal triumphs. I believe it is a call to action. It is a reminder that each of us has a unique voice waiting to be heard. A voice that can inspire, challenge, and ignite positive change. Today, I stand before you not as a beacon of unyielding success. I believe that my story is the story of embracing failure and accepting reality. Let me tell you how. When I was in my college, I was very interested in physics and astronomy. And this interest is not verbal interest. It was a proven interest that in 2019, before coming to university, most of you will be surprised to know that I got my first research paper published in International Journal of France before even coming to university, as I was interested in theoretical physics. And somehow, with that excitement, I came into the prestigious department of space sciences. But reality hit hard because you know this conventional thought that a brilliant student entering into his space sciences not becoming an engineer. So this slipped me from the top ranks in space sciences to the bottom ranks in aerospace engineering. I shifted my department after a year. And in space sciences, I was role number two. In aerospace, I am 97 out of 100. So this shift from top three to bottom three, it's an interesting story. But despite this whole turbulence, I experienced a pivotal moment of self-awareness. I realized that my work extended far beyond my GPA. Despite academic setbacks, I possessed qualities, qualities that define my character, public speaking prowess, a sharp mind, and a track record of lots of achievements, but outside the classroom. So I made a pivotal decision to straighten up my journey I transitioned my entire department from space sciences to aerospace engineering, and this shift was not just a shifting of majors. It was about embracing adaptability and accepting that success comes in diverse forms. But it was just a battle, battle of self-doubt with each hurdle I faced. In aerospace engineering, I got every grade from A, A minor, B plus, B minor, C, D, D plus, not F. Yeah, but in this journey, I learned that success is not linear. It is a tapestry woven from moments of triumph and tribulation, resilience and reinvention. My academic journey has taught me that setbacks are not synonymous for defeat. They are the catalyst for self-discovery and recalibration. So it was during this time of introspection that one day, when I was fighting with my inner self, I went to my attorney's uh, office, Dr. Hussein Sayyid Raza Hamdani. I was talking to him. He just brought out the paper and he wrote, Tuba, you're A-OK, -okay, but remember three sentences for the rest of your life. He said, eat with the gratitude, sleep with the gratitude, and wake up with a smile. And these three sentences, these simple words resonated deeply within me because for the very first time, I thought about this gratitude and gratefulness and acceptance. I went to hostel, I took out a paper, and I just made a list of all those abilities and talents which I had and no one else had. I thought that if 4GPA is his identity or her identity, what is my identity? So I made a list and I, I found out that, oh, I am the blessed one. I am the luckiest one. Okay. So I began to focus on what I had rather than dwelling on what I lack. Gratitude and gratefulness became my guiding principles. A source of strength during moments of adversity, instead of allowing setbacks to define me, I embraced them as opportunities for growth. My message is simple. It is okay if you don't have a good GPA. Your worth is not defined by the grades alone. You need to focus on your unique talents. You need to embrace your journey and cultivate the gratitude for the abundance that surrounds you. So four years ago, I had made a decision. The decision that altered the course of my life. I chose to step away from the spotlight, to silence my voice, and to withdraw into myself. Not because I was weak, but because out of a profound desire to understand and introspect. You see, I had always been the girl who defied norms, who dared to dream big, 
and who sought to make her mark in the world from hosting national events to debating on the prestigious platform, platforms. Every year we go to ATC representing the institute. We have been to many international platforms as well. My journey is full of achievements. But there came a pivotal moment when the applause faded and the world's expectations clashed with my inner truths. The world saw a version of me that fit nearly into their molds. A polished exterior that garnered praise and acceptance. But within me, there was a voice yearning to be heard. A voice that echoed with authenticity, passion, and a desire for genuine connection. So in the silence that followed, I embarked a journey of self-discovery. This is important. A journey that demanded courage and resilience. I grappled with doubts and fears, questioning whether my voice truly mattered if it did not confirm. Society's gaze can be harsh, often defining us by external measures. And this struggle, I momentarily lost the sight of who I was. The girl with boundless dreams and unwavering determination. And so, after four years of silence, ladies and gentlemen, I stand here today as a blend of two identities. One, that is shaped by societal perceptions and expectations, the shape which I am portraying and you are seeing. And the other is a reflection of my innermost being. My journey is a testament to the transformative power of authenticity, to the liberation that comes from embracing our true selves unapologetically. It is a reminder that societal acceptance is fleeting, but self-acceptance is enduring. As I stand here, I invite each one of you to embark on your own journey of rediscovery. Let us peel away the layers imposed by society and reconnect with the whispers of our own hearts. Let us embrace our differences, celebrate our authenticity, and reclaim our identities. In this pursuit, may we find the courage to be who we truly are, not for the validation of others, but for the fulfillment of our own souls. Today, I urge you all to redefine success beyond conventional metrics. Embrace the setbacks, for they are the opportunities for the growth. Celebrate your unique strengths and contributions, for they are the cornerstone for your identity. To those who have experienced a similar journey of self-doubt and silence, I urge you, reclaim your narrative. Reclaim your narrative. Embrace the quirks that make you who you are. Your voice matters, and the world is waiting to hear your story. Together, let us rediscover the power of our voices and inspire a future where difference is celebrated, not silenced. I thank you all so very much.